Rob, welcome to Axis Garage. All right, today we're back with part two of our holster, uh, inside the waistband holster shootout, and just a, a random sampling. We picked two of the, one of a, a, a tried and true uh, holster, which is the Crossbreed Super Tuck inside the waistband. Super Tuck being the bigger, okay, of the, the two different Crossbreed um, Kydex and leather holsters. Um, they did not make a, the mini, this is the super tuck, they didn't make a mini tuck for a Glock 26, that's why we didn't go with the mini tuck. Okay. But in reality, the mini tuck is only about a half inch um, off the the leather all the way around. Mm -hmm. So it's really, it's still a big holster. So this is your, your standard Kydex leather inside the waistband, crossbreed super tuck is the brand. Okay. okay, and we went with this, and this is the Brave Response. I want to make sure I get the name right, right. The Brave Response, it is the... Um, inside the waistband, it's not. They're not calling it a belly band because it's really not a belly band. It's a holster, but it attaches with a strap that goes around your body, similar to how a be belly band would. And in the initial video, which I'll put a link to right up here, the initial video, we took them out, we looked at them, mm -hmm. we gave our thoughts about them. One thing with doing this review that I, I had a hard time with was was realizing that we're reviewing a holster. We're not re re reviewing a way to carry. There's, you know, a ton of different ways to carry. So whether you like the way to carry, you don't like the way to carry, that really doesn't have a whole lot to do with the holster itself. Right. Does the holster work? So we started with, this was uh, Christmas time, right? Mm -hmm. It was the first yeah, video. Yeah, we, yeah, we were drinking yeah. scotch yeah. Christmas Eve. <laughs> and we did the first video. <laughs> yeah. And um, and then we were going to go uh, three months. And it's now June. Yeah. So, but the, the trial was for three months. And right. now the, you know, the Bulldogs here. Um, so I had the crossbreed uh, yeah. super tuck, and I had this, tuck. and and you had that. So now I, I put this on, and Christmas Day, because that was Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, I, I unloaded my twenty six. I put this on, and I walked around the entire Christmas holiday um, with an unloaded twenty six, drawing and holstering, drawing and holstering, drawing and holstering. And let me tell you, once I developed a little bit of of a slight bit of muscle memory as to where the holster was. This thing was easy draw, okay, and it was easy to reholster, which we discussed in the previous video. Reholstering is not a concern when you're talking about a, a self-defense carry. You know, we want to get it out there. That's the primary thing. Reholstering isn't our primary concern. Um, getting it out there and getting a, getting a shot off to protect yourself or someone else is your primary. So, but there are some practical things to reholstering. Like if you're a person that, um, that, puts the gun on, takes it off when you get home, you store the weapon and when you're leaving the house, you grab it and you you know, so there is there is some reholstering issues in in carrying a firearm. So I, I that's the way I look at it. It, right. it seems right. like there's not a reholstering issue, but I found, especially using this one, that I did have issues reholstering. And it wasn't because, you know, I was I was coming out because I was protecting myself or anything. It was just a matter of function, just coming in and out of the house, taking it on, taking it off. Yeah, I had some issues. Yeah, I, ne I, I never had yeah. those issues because yeah. I don't take it off. Yeah, well, I, I, take, I, it, I take it off when I go to bed. I, yeah, no, I don't do that. I don't, I don't carry it home most of the time. See, I, I, I do. Yeah. I carry it in the house. Yeah. You never know who's watching. Yeah. Well, if it's in my pocket, you know, I never take it out of my pocket. But well, and that's it's, it's and a that's the whole, but yeah, that's a different yeah, thing. Right? It's different. So anyway, this one I wore it. Mm -hmm. So I started out and I felt it, right? Because it's big. Yeah. And I felt it for a couple days, it but after a couple days, it went away. Um, it retained very well, mm -hmm. right? I have an unloaded twenty six here. Yep. Yeah. All right. It goes in. It stays in. Mm. Right. It's not going to come out. Um, I never felt like it was coming out, yeah. and it's, it's easy in, easy out. Um, I would love it to to have to give it a little bit more of a push to get it in, mm -hmm. and a little bit more of a pull to get it out. But it does it does its job. That's just my own personal preference. I would I like a more positive lock. Yeah, yeah. This isn't really. It's just a snug it's, fit, and yeah, that's why it's, it's it's that holster. I mean, usually a Kydex holster has a nice little click, and I don't know why that doesn't. You know, yeah. but yeah. I, I did wear it. I, mm -hmm. Now, I, I got to admit, it was supposed to be three months. I lasted about six weeks. Okay, and yeah. not because I didn't like the holster. The holster worked perfectly. The only problem that I had with this holster, and I, I told you about that before when we were talking about it, was 
getting it in the same spot every time you got dressed in the morning. Yeah. So I tried to index the the, yeah. the the rear sight here with with the seam in my jeans. Mm -hmm. And I sort of had it close, but then once you, you put on a different pair of jeans, different, different, pair of different pants, style, it's, yeah, it and then it's off, different, yeah. and it throws you off. So you got to yeah. find that spot. And I guess, you know, I only gave it six weeks. How did you like the adjustment part? I didn't even adjust it. I oh, left, it, I left oh. it the way it was, oh, wow. out of the box, and I liked it. Oh, okay. Now, you could adjust it. They have... Yeah, yeah. There's three you different holes here. I didn't touch it. Oh, wow. Um, I put it in the way it was. I liked it. I liked the angle that it was mm -hmm. already at. It was comfortable. I took a nap a couple times with it on. Yeah. You know, came home from work and laid down on the couch and yeah. just took a nap, and it was on, and it, and it wasn't bothering wow. me. I forgot that it was there after a while. Mm -hmm. It really, it did everything it's supposed to do. This this flap here, all right, stopped the gun from digging into my gut. Right. Okay, and and I did wear it with just a t-shirt on the outside, so I didn't have it up against the shirt. I had it up against skin. How about this part here? Up, no, it was fine. Really? The only time this part ever sort of pinched me a little bit right. is if I didn't have it in the right spot. I had it a little too far forward than a pinch. Mm -hmm. A little too far back is actually more comfortable, but your, your draw isn't as good. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was my only issue and it's got nothing to do with the holster. It's just that this type of holster, right. you got to get it in the same spot every time. I wore it with shorts a few times, not a ton because it was January, February, mm -hmm. but I did have cargo shorts and I wore it with cargo shorts and it was fine. And I wore it with jeans and it was fine. Um, I think it works. Okay. I don't know if, if I would search for, uh, something better. Because I think it did, the only, like I said, the only reason why I would look for something better is just this, I'd like it, not that it ever moved. Yeah. And I did do a lot of, I, I'm not a, an inactive person during the day. And I did a lot of crawling under the car, in and out of the truck, boxes, loading, unloading stuff, and it never yeah, moved. No, it not, never came out, no, it never moved. Um, I just, my own personal feeling, I like, I like, but Plus I guess. Plus it's inside your pants. It, right, it is yeah, inside Yeah, you know, pants. it's holding. So. It's holding. Yeah. I liked it. Mm -hmm. um, now, you didn't have as good as a time with that no. one, right? How yeah. long did you get at first? All right, I lasted six weeks of the three months. And not because of the holster. Only because I really prefer a pocket carry, especially in the wintertime when I'm wearing jeans. I'm wearing carpenter jeans, and I got a little 380, you know, on a, on a, on a, in a pocket holster that I love to pocket carry. And for my lifestyle of always bending and moving and moving shit, the pocket carry makes sense for me. Um, but when I got dressed up, or I was going out to an office thing or to to the bank or out, out, out to dinner or something like that and where I was fully dressed and I wasn't leading that much, having that much activity, right, this right. was the holster I was going to. All right, right so how long did you last? <laughs> well, I, I tried through um, most of January and February. I mean, I gave it a good go for the two months, but not every day because um, I was in situations where I just needed a quick in and out, and this was just too much trouble to put on. This was um, this this rig is is kind of almost pull your pants down. You know, you have to you have to open up your pants. You have to put it on. You have to get it just right. You keep pushing around, and once you do that, you're set. You're not you're not doing anything. You're not making any changes. You're not taking it off. You're not doing anything. Going to the bathroom, everything. You don't take this thing off. It stays on with you all day. And I don't. I, that's not for me. I like to I like to take it off when I get home. I like to relax. I don't like to wear this all day. Having said that, this is very comfortable. When you have this thing on, you don't even know. Once you have it, once once it's on for a while, you don't even realize it's there. Because I, I believe it was in the instructions. They told you not to put it on tightly. So you don't really strap it and you don't pull the strap so that it's on tightly. You just put it on so it's nice and comfortable. And, and, and it stays on, and it's very, very comfortable. That being said, once you put the gun in here, I, have, I usually carry two different types of weapons. I could carry a, a 38, a little small um, 38 special. When you put that 38 in special in, it goes deep down in here. And when you click the thumb, the thumb brake, you're kind of locking it in, and you can't get it out. So with the 38, it goes in a little too deep, and it just, it's so secure, nothing's falling out. Nothing like the problem you think. This, nothing's coming out with this one. It's secure, but it's not coming out very fast. 
with my uh, my 26 when the 26 goes in there it sticks out a little further I could get a good grip grip on it when I'm pulling on it and I get a good grip on it but when I go to pull it the whole rig moves so it kind of I do the thumb brake which because it's so soft, it's not like a duty rig. I don't know if you guys, law enforcement guys, know what a duty rig is. But in a duty rig, when you do the thumb brake, it just snaps open as you're grabbing the grips. With this, you got to kind of play with it a little bit. Leaning up against your body and trying to fidget with it. And then you get a good hand on the grips. And when you go to pull it out, the whole rig moves with you. And that's not cool. Right. That's not cool at all. I tried even being a little sneaky about it, doing the, you know, because basically all you're doing is you grab your shirt, you grab your rip, boom. That's all it needs to be. And if I got to fudge it with it, fidget with it, I, it's, it's not for me. And then you went to the range with it. Oh, I did. I, I also, yes, I also range tested it. I went to the range and I, you know, I was very patient, you know, I went and I tried to, you know, and the first time it was almost embarrassing. My, my whole, everything was coming out and I said, let me calm down. And now to get it back in, I should, uh, I'll give you a little, I'm empty as well, just to make sure. Um, getting it back in is, first of all, they tell you, you can't put it reholster it without taking it off so you have to actually reholster out here out here look you have to fidget around to get it once you get it all hooked up and you get it rigged up right to put then you put it on so there's no reholstering while it's on your body so you have to here. reholster out like this so we got it out right yeah, it's not it's not easy playing. No, there's a, there's a other couple of issues with the. Um, I I didn't know which, see, yeah, see yeah, what I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to go behind this. You can't go right. in here. You have to go on top. Now of the, here. the the way it was designed was to come back. To go there. In Forget the it. Forget it. You right? can't and you can't get it out that way. Which Just, if that if that's the case, when like you you're grabbing, saying, you're grabbing the. You can't get it out. You're grabbing the strap. You're grabbing the strap. Even if you break, even if you break the strap, you're. The strap is still under the tang of your hand, so you can't pull it out. So it has to go here, and, and to go here over the back of the slide. And there's no swivel here to get it up here, because you got to go behind the slide because you have to get the tang of your hand in the grips, the tang of the grips. I mean, basically. So that's the problems I had with this. So this little thing, and you can adjust this. Right. You adjust this. I mean, I adjust it different, differently, obviously, for the 38 as I do for this 26. But, like I say, once it's in the end, once it's in your pants and you're buckled up, it's really snug in there. Takes up a little space. The belt takes up a little space. The holster takes up a little space. Very secure. Very comfortable. But, <laughs> unfortunately, you gotta, you got to draw the weapon. And it's got to be able to come out easily and ready to go very comfortable that's all I could say I'm just doing this very comfortable outside. very secure but for me it really doesn't function very well so you got the break yeah see, the, see the, the whole thing moves see, it's gonna so. move on you you're pulling it out of your pants almost right I see what you're saying you, if you don't it, it, it moves yeah you can't make that tight enough for it to stop moving you know. Um, now, do you think it would loosen up over time? No. You see, see, and, and look at how much. Yeah. You got it. You got to take it off, and you got to jiggle it in there to get it in. Uh, oh, it's it's real tight in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's snug. Once it's in there, and once you're strapped in, you got your 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 pants closed up. And again, you got to open your pants. It was embarrassing at the range. I mean, I had to take. It's, it's like I had my. You know, you know, look around. You know, I have to take your pants off. This, this is crazy. You know, it's it's again, it's not really a holster the way I think of a holster being. I mean, I'm better off with a little pocket holster, or a sticky holster, to me, and that's that's what I used most of the time. So it was intermittent. I was using this because I knew I had to test it, and I tried to use it as much as possible. It just got to be a real pain, and I just went back to my sticky all the time. Well, um, you know, I, I feel bad. You know, I wanted it to work out, but it didn't, <laughs> it didn't work out for me, you know. 
I'm, uh, so we're going to take this. So that's, that's going to be our, our, our takeaway from this. And the interesting thing is that after we did the, the last video back in back on Christmas Eve and it was yeah. put up uh, yeah. you know, right after New Year's, right. um, the funny thing was crossbreed, this is crossbreed, right? No, that's cross No, that's crossbreed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I keep getting the names confused. Yeah, yeah. Brave Response. This mm -hmm. is Brave yeah, Response. Yeah. Brave Response did reach out to me. And wanted it to seems know, like a quality piece. Wanted to know how we make it out with the review. It's not cheap at review. all. It's, it's, um, you know, it's made well. It's um, it's definitely made well. Oh, it's made very well. And it, it's just, it could be, you know, like... And it's very secure. It, you're, you're not losing this. No, definitely not. So You just can't get it out. I would almost want to say, well, hey, maybe the Glock 26 isn't a, a good size. But think about it. 26, 19, 17, right? The frame size is the same. Yeah. Right, so it's just a barrel size, and the barrel's yeah, just yeah, going to yeah. come out the bottom yeah. anyway. And it's the grip here, which doesn't affect the holster. No. So you're talking pretty much the whole standard Glock line that's this thick in, in yeah, firearm. Yeah. And unless you go with the ones that are just a half thinner, yeah, and even I, those aren't that much thinner. So it's tight in the holster. Um, and <laughs> it, it doesn't just and it doesn't the strap. go back in. Now, like now so, a lot of people, a lot of reviews that I saw online for this said to just take the strap off completely. A lot of people just yeah. took it off. So they took it, yeah. this this part of the strap Velcro's in. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you could take this that part out. stays. So they yeah. said take it off completely. Yeah, you could take that out easily. Right. Yeah. Um and it's still gonna be plenty secure not seeing how tight it is in here. But you really gotta Yeah. You really gotta yeah, fuss you got, with it. You to gotta get it take in. it off and get it in there. And once See, it's in there, it's in there. It ain't coming out. Now Um so the hmm. so the pros then would be that that it's secure. It's secure and comfortable. It's comfortable. Very comfortable. You can go to the bathroom, sitting or standing. Stand, you, where, you know, <laughs> if, if, you, if you take the strap, actually, and you just pick it up and you sit down. Or if you go into the bathroom, obviously, standing up, it's fine. It's not in the way. It's very comfortable. You don't have to worry about it falling out. If you're going to a public bathroom or something, it's not going to fall over. The strap is, is nice and secure. So it, But <laughs> the problem is, is when you're coming out of the holster to draw. It doesn't, and even with it, it and, just doesn't draw well. And like you know, we've we've talked about you know having a quick, a fast draw, mm -hmm. right? Getting on target right away. Right. And we've also talked about a lot of times, um, you know, concealed carry. Sometimes it's a sneaky draw. Yeah. And you tried that slow sneaky, sneaky draw. Yeah, I tried out. the sneaky. You know, where you just okay, you see uh, a situation evolving, and you sort of want yeah, to so just get it, right. and you still can't get no. it. No, no. No. So that good. that kind of ruins it. Not good. That kind of ruins it both ways. Yeah, it does. I'm I'm gonna try it. So yeah. now it's my yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah, maybe you'll have um, better luck with it. You know. I'm gonna try it. I I was kind of I was hoping that you know I know we spoke about it uh, last it's month. It's quality stuff. I mean, this is good. I was hoping I mean, that it was gonna <laughs> loosen up a little bit. Yeah. But I guess that's uh, yeah, that's no. not happening. You can see it's wrinkling up. Just trying to get it in. Yeah, it's tight. It might even just be too tight. I don't know. You know, it, it the. Um, the trigger guard is, you know, on a on a Glock, is kind of like you got to get it in. Right, it's a big trigger. And, guard. and I'm and now I'm worrying about the slide moving, and I got my thumb behind the slide, and I'm I'm working it like this. It's just too much to right. Meanwhile, have to you, think you, about, meanwhile, you, you know, right. I get it. And it's off, and I got to open up my pants to put it back on. It's just it's it's insane. But it's when you not, once you got it on, it's comfortable. It's very comfortable, very secure. Okay, well. So then we're at the exact opposite, you know, yeah. like, I mean, this one, like yeah. I said, really no complaints. Yeah. Um, it, it's so much more, and now we're talking about the crossbreed, mm -hmm. super tough. Super tough. Um, it's so much more comfortable than it looks. Yeah. You know, this thing looks horrid. Yeah. It looks like a it's very so rigid big. piece yeah. of something. And after a couple days, it does take a couple days. It, you get used to it, you don't really realize it's there. Yeah. It does, it's like anything else. You wear a new pair of shoes, it takes you a couple days right. to feel like yeah. you're, you're normal again. Um, so, I, I kind of like it. Um, I really wanted this to work because like on a day like today where I'm just wearing a pair of gym shorts, I was futzing around the house all day, um, outside and inside, and I just got a pair of gym shorts on, so I don't have a belt on, mm -hmm. right? So, something like that's no good. Something like this really isn't any good because my gym shorts aren't even tight enough on the no, elastic waistband no. to hold that in. I'm always, uh, as much as I've I've had so much success with this thing, I always am worried about it falling out. Not not the not the weapon falling out of the holster. The whole thing, the whole falling, thing right. falling out. It never does, but 
I'm always thinking it's going to do that. And unfortunately, it, it's, it stays. It stays if your pants are tight enough, actually. Um, what else did I want to say about it? I, I have another issue with, um, it seems with inside the waist, I'm always looking to adjust. I just always want to get it so that, so that this, where's mine? Right here. So that this part of the weapon is, is in the right location for me, you know? And I need that flexibility to be able to move it around until it's comfortable. And then once it's comfortable, I'm good. And, and, and it depends on what kind of pants you're wearing, whether you're wearing low-cut pants or higher-cut pants. Every pair of pants right. is different. So you need some kind of flexibility with the holster and so that you can make that adjustment. Right. So it's not stabbing you or stabbing you. Either the, either the back of the slide or the butt of the uh, weapon is stabbing you. And something the like this, you can adjust. You can you adjust. Can, but you can't adjust it without All loosening your belt. Yeah, right. You gotta loosen your belt. Oh, I see. You can yeah. adjust it. You can move it. You could slide it along the belt, but okay. you gotta loosen that belt. Right, up. right. And if you don't loosen the belt, so now you're. And basically, your adjustment is just front to back. Front it's to not, back. It's not. It's well, not, you it, you gotta do that by right, by, which is a big by deal. setting it up right. your initial setup right, right, right. to adjust the cant on it. Okay. Um, you know, and something this size, if you loosen your belt up, you can move it front, and that's what I did constantly until I got it into the right spot. And like I tried to so say, you tried to index. Loops. You got to stay with yeah. the belt loops. And then you got to try to index it the way you want it. Mm -hmm. It's it's a problem. I guess yeah. the more you do it, right, the, the the easier it gets. Right. I listed six weeks, so I got six <laughs> weeks out of it. But like, it's not like this. With no. this, you could just turn around and you can push it back a little. Right. You can push it forward a little. You can. And I actually just just to be on the safe side, I keep it almost as deep as possible, because no matter how deep I keep this. If I could get my thumb in there, it's coming right out because it's slippery on the inside. So even though I'm got, I have it deep down. So because I'm just paranoid with it falling out, it's deep enough. But it doesn't matter. As soon as I get in there, it comes right out. So you know, I'm, no, I'm, I don't want to be an advertisement for sticky holsters, but this is this try is. So you're gonna give that one a yeah. try. Okay. I'm gonna give this one a try. Okay. Um, Actually, what I'm going to do is, you know what? I'm going to put this on because I got the perfect shorts for it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to put it on now. Let me move the camera. Okay. And I'll get this on, and um, and we'll show you what it uh, what it looks like. I'll give you my first quick impression, and then we're going to we're going to go three months again. So maybe I'll okay. list. You know, if we, we don't have to go three months if we're only lasting six now, weeks. Do you need a belt for this? You need a belt. For oh, that. you have yeah. to have. A well, I I get it's designed for a belt. Mm -hmm. Okay, these are definitely belt loops right. and they allow you to tuck oh wow you know here yeah. um when you if you want to put your shirt over and tuck mm -hmm. but um can you just clip it right over your pants you can you know will it be good yeah. i don't know you you, you wear jeans without yeah a pants, I, right? but i almost think like that that whole rig seems heavy enough to start pulling the pants down yeah no I'll but it's not uh, it, pants it on doesn't the weigh a lot oh no it doesn't weigh wow it doesn't it looks so heavy yeah so let me um this I got an empty mag, let me pop I'll pop an empty mag in. Okay. And um I'll move the camera and we'll get this on. Alright, so I put the holster on, but I tucked my shirt in just so that you could see where it is. I wouldn't okay. normally be like this. And you put that one on. Yeah. Uh, the funny thing is he was just talking about the sticky and how he likes to really carry it low. Carry it and he's low. going, wow, this feels a little high. This is high. And I'm saying, wow, this feels a little low. And this this is kind of low. I gotta say, first impression, I don't feel like I'm wearing anything. Right no, now. it's very. I'm, that's what I, I was telling you. Hey, you listen, very, don't very don't be a wise ass and take that the wrong way. I'm wearing clothes. Yeah, no. I don't feel like I'm wearing. I it no. just it, it's it's not there. It, no. it, it's that comfortable. It's very. Comfortable. It's not there. It's sitting down. It's just not there. No. Um, it's comfortable. But here, here's what it looks like. You know, with the shirt tucked in, my shorts are going over the holster. Yeah. Okay, and it's just the uh, the handle and the top of the uh, the back of the slide where the the snap goes over. Yeah. That's sticking out. Yeah, it's very right? comfortable. It's not super tight. I didn't crank down super tight. No. I just made no. it snug. Yeah. Um, you know, and now you know pretty much. You know, I have you know I have a, an old pair of gym shorts on, with you know yeah. with no nothing tied, just the elastic. Yeah, no, it doesn't need to be held by your pants. And, you know, I got the gym shorts on. I got my shirt over it. And it's complete concealment. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's pretty good. Now, it's going to be a little bit more difficult when you wear real pants. Right. Right now, it's kind of easy because you got stretch, a stretch waist, so it's, 
it's easy. You'll you'll see the difference when it you put takes on, up room. Yeah, you'll yes, your pants are gonna be a little tighter and, and it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's. But it's still gonna be comfortable. And now, once you get hooked up, you, you in, in in a couple of minutes it's gonna go away. You're gonna. And now to get it out, right? You're breaking the thumb brake. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're pulling. Yeah, it, it does move it. Yeah. I, I don't. Yeah. See, oh, there's no way to get it back on now. Okay, <laughs> so yeah. Well, that was the other. Put that. That's a disadvantage. Once once you do that, you got to take the rig off. You got to put it on again and put the rig back on. That's that's the okay. Way to do it. But I'm gonna have to do the same thing. I'm yeah. gonna have to wear it. I'm gonna have to go to right. the range. I'm gonna have to draw it and see well, if you're I. You're only can... gonna get one draw. <laughs> yeah. But you know that yeah. one draw is your yeah. important draw. Yeah, it get is. It out it is. There. It is. So seeing if I could draw it in a way where it's not just gonna pull the holster. Yeah. Like you said, the 38 is too deep, and you, that's buried in there. Yeah, it's buried. I don't normally carry the 38 anyway. Yeah. I'm, I'm, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what do you think right off the bat on that one? Well, this one is well comfortable. So f well, no, see, it's it's digging. It's digging in so you, in you my gotta go side back of my set. So I, I have to, this is where I have it positioned here, which is where I normally carry right here, and I'm I'm normally kind of a neutral camp. I'm a straight up and down kind of guy. So this is tilted a little bit, so maybe further back will will be okay. Let's see. Let's bring it back a little bit. See if I can sit down with it. Yes, it's much better if it's back further. It has to be back a little further, or that front, the front of it digs into my leg. And back here. Yeah, I'm not used to this. See, now I have something other than, other than the gun, I have this piece of leather to right. deal with, which I have to get used to. A piece of leather. I'm used to going into my body and grabbing the gun. Okay, now right. I'm grabbing the holster. So I have to get my thumb now between the holster and the gun, which I'm not used to doing. I'm used to going to my body and grabbing the gun. And when I do that, I'm grabbing the holster. Well, that's because you don't have anything, right? There's I'm not there. used to all of this left. Right. I'm used to that there. You know. So it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a challenge for me to okay. to, to work with. All right. Well, there you have it. That's our uh, three month three review months. that took us six months to do, and we only actually wore the holsters for about six weeks. Yeah. So. Yeah, I would. And say. both of us kind yeah. of tapped out at about six weeks. Yes. And only because. Not because there was a problem with the holsters necessarily, it's just that it wasn't our preferred way to carry. And a lot of that has to do with you get used to a certain way. Right. Even though your way might not be the best way or the most practical way, you just Absolutely. get used to it and that's what's comfortable for you. And like I said, yeah. with the pocket carry for me on a 380, not even on this 9, all right, and with you with the sticky holster because you like to take it off a lot, you walk in the house, right. you take the whole holster and everything, you take the whole thing. Yeah, I you take the whole thing. You come in, you take the whole thing out and you put it on the shelf I wherever you put it. somewhere. And, um, yeah. And it's easy for you. Yeah. With me, I put it on in the morning. I don't take it off. Yeah. Take it out till the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So um, we're gonna swap holsters. We're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna go another three months. If it only takes, if we only last six weeks, then we could do the video a lot faster. Yeah, we could. We could. Um, and then we'll let you know really what we thought. Um, yeah. Uh, the little big dummy's behind the camera, and he's pointing at the bulldog. Who you wanna you wanna aim that camera down to the bulldog? We'll show everybody what's going on down there. All right, the bulldog decided to lay. We have a house full. You can bring the camera back on me. Um, we have a a house full of people today for the big dummies' um, birthday. 20th birthday, and he was 20 a couple weeks ago. So you got it. You got it two weeks ago. No, he was 20 on the 13th. It's the 23rd. Ten days ago. Yeah. Ten days in the uh, Comico Math. So Comico Math. Ten days ago, he was 20. Yeah. He got a nice rifle kit for his birthday, um, which is going to be uh, promoted on an upcoming uh, video that we're going to do. But all this stuff going on, we got people outside, uh, people on the deck, people in the kitchen, and the bulldog decides that he's going to come with probably the two people that he dislikes the most. Right. And he's going to lay right yeah, under the tripod, snoring during this entire video. Did, did, so, did the snoring come out? Oh, of yeah, yeah. <laughs> If you, I, saw, I saw the mic needed jumping up and down every time he snored. So if you heard snoring on the video. It wasn't one of the kids laying on the couches. It was the bulldog under the camera. Um, but that's it today from Axel's Garage. So we did, uh, 
we did a nice review with the two holsters. We're going to come back in a couple of weeks to a couple of months, and we're going to give you our final thoughts on the holsters, and Steven's going to tell us which one he likes the best, because that one you're keeping. And then I'm getting the reject. Um, really? Yeah. That was the deal. You, you, the holster that you like the best, you keep. That's your birthday present. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll find out. And you know what he's going to say? Just give me a sticky holster. You know, <laughs> um, and then maybe in an upcoming video, we'll, we'll try. We'll get a sticky. And yeah. we'll get the sticky, whoever Sticky's competitor is. And if they have a competitor. Oh, yeah, we'll pocket get, holsters. We'll do pocket. Pocket holsters would be. Is that a brand pocket holster? No, 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 no. Just, the, just no, a regular pocket, pocket. Like the pocket, pocket I have. No, okay. they're called pocket, pocket holsters. Well, I have yeah. a pocket holster. Yeah, well. Well, there's different people. Now. I have a, uh, a DeSantis Superfly is what I'm using right now every day. Oh, my God. Superfly. Superfly, it's called, because it's got, it's it's a it's a pocket holster, and then it's got a fly section that goes over it, so that the gun doesn't print through your pants. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not worried about printing. You don't have to worry about printing if you have baggy pants. Right. If you right. have tight pants, obviously it's a problem. So, that's what we got for you today from Axis Garage. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you like our... our category of these tools, these specific tools. Tools. You have to be careful because... Um, freedom packages. Yeah, freedom packages? Is that what people are calling? <laughs> um, you have to be well, careful. No, these tools send freedom packages. They send for Okay. Nice. You have to be careful about the way you word things because um, they pick up on certain keywords and they don't like certain things and um, they try to take... Try, try, people that are earning an, trying to earn an honest um, living making some of these YouTube videos, uh, not being able to do so because they use certain key terms. Can't talk about it. God, God, God Yeah, bless yeah, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of things you can't talk about, and, you know, we're dabbling, and here's my mom. You want to you say hi, Mom? No. No? All right. Um, she doesn't want to say hi, but I think she's standing by the door as a sign that she wants to, uh, to leave, ready to go home. All right, so Grandma's ready to go home. Grandma's ready. We sold the call, by the way. I know. Um, if you saw in the previous video. Grandma Rose's car was for sale. We sold, we sold Grandma's car. Mom's car um, gone. Gone. <laughs> no longer driving anymore. You want a little hot rod or something to drive around in? No. No? Not even She's a done. bicycle. Not even a bicycle. She's going to drive my Mustang. <laughs> um, all right. So that's it from Maxwell's Garage. Please, if you enjoy what we're doing, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to our channel. It means a lot if you subscribe. It helps us create the content that you want me to show you. And we have a great time doing it, too. You know, all the boys are involved. God bless Uncle Steven's involved. And um, and we're getting everybody. Okay. We're getting everybody involved in it now. Cool. It's becoming a whole family thing. It's cool. All right? Thanks for watching.